New Metal's trying to make a comeback, and I'm for it. Why do you hate fun? All right, yeah, we got a couple New Metal albums this year, and we are going to bring them through the grading system from best to worst, starting with Chaosium and The Third Eye. You know, I was willing to give these guys a chance, but man, is this just the most bland and forgettable corn from Wish with very little personality of their own to speak of? The members aren't untalented, and there are some decent moments with the likes of Unreal and Fly Away, but then there are others like Dance on My Grave and What If that are nearly psycho sinner levels of cringe. Today is a day that we can say goodbye and start the party. Are you ready? No. And this coming from somebody who came up on some of the cringiest C-tier new metal bands of the 2000s. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not good. I know some people liked it, but to me, out of this bunch, it is by far the worst thing. Next up, let's talk about Disturbed with Divisive. Hey, you! Have you had enough of it? I'm the mind of leaving the mind. Hey, you! Now, I was actually kind of psyched to hear this one after they dropped the Hey You single because that was a serious bop. Hey, that's pretty good. I didn't have super high expectations, but at least I was anticipating something fun to bob my head to on the way to work. Unfortunately, what we got was pretty mediocre. There are some fun moments here and there that are kind of fun, like the title track and Unstoppable, but for the most part, this is another very uniform track list of very mid material. <laughs> So this one, also going low, it was a bit higher on the Disturbed discography tier list, because within their own albums, I think it's still pretty decent, but on this particular list, and especially within the scope of releases this year, it, it's got to be at a D on this one. It was not what I wanted! But yeah, as always, let me know your thoughts down below if you disagree. Moving along to another newer band, we have Bloodywood with Rock Shock. <laughs> So I love things that are a little weird and different, so I really wanted to love this record because honestly, there are a lot of things that I do appreciate about it. For one, how often do you get to hear Indian instruments in this genre, and I love the vocals presented in that style. It's a very unique presentation that, especially in this pretty much now dead and tired genre, is so refreshing. So if that was the makeup of every song, this could have easily made the top of the list, but unfortunately, they still felt the need to incorporate the rapped vocals too, and while I can appreciate good rap both on its own and within metal music the presentation here is once more the green pepper that ruins the entire pizza for me you blew it! i think part of the issue might be that they're in english and as a result end up being the most simplistic and frankly cringe overused lyrics possible i'd be interested to hear them in hindi as well to see if that makes for a better result but as it stands i really struggle to sit through those parts so landed kind of in the middle of the list i'm excited to see them moving forwards and hope that they find ways to sort of improve on their formula by the way if you're enjoying the video don't forget to hit the like button drop a comment again of what your thoughts are on this and also you can join our patreon to sort of influence future videos but i've got a lot more rankings and we're going to continue on with corn and requiem So speaking of a new metal album that my only real expectation was something to bob my head to, Requiem really delivered for me. It's nothing horribly special and nowhere near as good as classics like the self-titled and Issues, and it doesn't have the same heights as The Nothing, but within their kind of spotty discography, I really had fun banging my head to it just like when I was 16 years old. Lots of fun tracks here like Forgotten, Start the Healing, My Confession, and Worst is on its way. And at 33 minutes, it never overstays its welcome. Acceptable. I know some were disappointed with it, but it really hit the spot for me like a good fast food meal after a night of drinking. So yeah, B tier for that one. But now we're going to get real controversial here because speaking of albums that left many disappointed, there was perhaps no more divisive one on this list than Slipknot with the end so far. <laughs> Why am I always in your death? 
I even recently included this on my most divisive albums of the past few years list, and for good reason, because people either loved it or hated it. I openly admit that what I'm about to say is blasphemous. Personally, though, I'm doubling down on what I said in my Slipknot tier list video. This is the first time I've really enjoyed a Slipknot album since Iowa. And there's plenty of that old intensity to be found on tracks like The Chapel Town Rag, The Dying Song, and Warranty. <laughs> And then more atmospheric and experimental tracks like Medicine for the Dead, Desaad, and Acidic, which have kind of this unique charm to them that I found more entertaining than most of their usual modern output. Even the bizarre classic rock vibes of the opening track Adderall, while not something that really fits on the album, just worked for me. With Yen being the only track that actually makes me roll my eyes, which is a vast improvement over the last few. Fool this man! Now again, there are far better metal albums to enjoy this year, but as far as new metal goes, I have actually been spinning this quite a bit. I think it's about as fun as Requiem, but also with that added level of some intrigue and some sort of fresh ideas. So, I don't know. I was fine with it. If you hated it, by all means, blast me in the comments. It only helps the video. Let the heat flow through you. But easily, by far, the best new metal Album of the year goes to Tala with the Generation of Danger. With the extremely diverse vocals of charismatic frontman Justin Bonnets and stellar drumming from the legendary Mike Portnoy's son Max, Tala continues to be my favorite new metal band of the modern age, and the competition's not even close. I already loved the schizoid wildness of Metrifigy, and they may have just topped that with this new outing, I think. Justin continues to channel everything from head PE-esque reggae rap and punk vibes to deathcore breeze and Jonathan Davis-isms. He sounds so unhinged on some of these tracks, especially like Dickers Done and Of Nothing. Holy shit, I'm gonna come. While the guitars continue to channel the heyday of Korn and Slipknot for punishers like For the Recognition and The Impressionist. This is the best possible version of modern new metal for me, to the point that no other band from this generation, again, even comes remotely close. And I honestly do think it's on par with the late 90s and early 2000s material that got me into metal to begin with. So I'm excited for a lot of young people who maybe this is the same gateway album for them into heavier music that the self-titled Slipknot album was for me back in the day. Easy S tier. Even if you don't like any of these other albums, I'd still encourage you to check this one out, because I'd say it's also a lot more than just new metal. Y'all check out this playlist for plenty more new metal related videos, or this playlist for more videos on my favorite albums of 2022, but that'll do it for now. Flight of Icarus signing off. I will see you in the trenches.